there's a feature in X16 that you might not know about. You might not know about it. In fact, I don't know that I saw it listed in new features. It kind of just showed up. I first noticed it in the graphics of just the icons in Chief's icon folder, but here it is. We finally got a tool we've been begging for for a really long time. I don't think it's a perfect implementation of the tool, but I am so happy that it here is here because now we can do some really advanced stuff with moldings in a 3D camera view. Here we go. I've got a segment here. It's got a round molding on it. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to bring this, I'm going to rotate my camera around, bring this kind of into this joist bay, if you will. And then I want to take this and I want to do a continuation and I want to bring this straight up, right? Straight up this joist bay. Well, guess what? It's not working, right? And that's, we're no stranger to that. This seems to just pick some arbitrary points, you know, that we can't really figure out or predict. Well, guess what? I said, guess what? Twice. <laughs> guess what? Three times. Uh, we can now kind of predictably move these things. How do we do that? Well, I want to extend in that XY plane. Here's what I need to do. I come to the edit menu and we have this new icon, select edit plane. And when I click on that, notice my cursor. My cursor seems to be representing some kind of horizontal plane. It's got some perspective to it, right? It's doing like a floating point thing. And we, we bring it up to almost true horizon. It disappears and it resets back towards the bottom. What this is indicating is this is the current plane that we are editing in. So if we have our polyline selected and we choose select edit plane, we get a little, this little hovering deal right here. And depending on where your camera is, it's going to resize. It's got some funny little um, things going on there. But here we go. I'm going to choose this vertical looking plane. This is in the Z axis. So now when I bring this continuation handle and I draw straight up, look what it does. It predictably moves up. And I want you to notice that I'm still in that vertical plane, but I can bring this over. And now look at that. I'm in the stud bay. What does this mean? Plumbing line diagram really easily in 3D. I'll show you what I mean. We're still in that. Notice my mouse cursor is still in that vertical plane. So I get to extend this guy down. So I can extend him down below my stud line here. And then all I need to do is choose that tool again, select the correct plane to be editing in, right? And notice it's giving us multiple planes right now. So it's giving us kind of an X, Y, Z setup here. We need to hover over. This takes a little bit of practice. Um, as you zoom out, that tends to give us a little better targeting, but that's what I wanted right there is now I'm back in that, like just X, Y plane. And I can draw this over underneath my joists. Isn't that clever, right? Bring this back up. Maybe you want to switch that plane again. Here we go. Draw this up a few inches. We can even use tab input. So we're going to say I'm going to bring this up six inches and then I can draw this over. Right. And now I'm in that stud bay again. Draw this up, drag this in place. Isn't that wild? So we can finally do some really advanced things with moldings in this particular view. Now I want to note something in X16, they combine the multiple uh, different trim tools into one tool, but in doing so, I think they made an error and they made it so that we can't actually draw a molding in 3D. We have to draw it in a plan view and then come and manipulate it. But I have a little bit of a work around there. If you're in a flow and you're just in 3D and you want to stay in 3D and you don't want to have to go back to plan view, you could always draw something that can be converted in terms of converting a polyline. And I bring this up a lot. Converting polyline is a massive tool because we have 30 something tools in one hotkey essentially. So here we go. I've got a solid. I get to draw this solid out to whatever I want it to be. Doesn't matter because this represents a polyline, which then can be converted very quickly to a molding polyline. And so now I have a molding in 3D very easily. And I can swap this out just by going into my library, hovering over and replacing. So let's just say I'm going to go look up CM01, which is a crown molding. I click on it. I hover over this. I change it in 3D. Bam. Very easy then for me to just take a particular segment if I want to disconnect that selected edge. And now I do have a molding in 3D and I never had to go to plan view. And so now I can use those same tools to kind of draw these up. So check this out again. I'm going to choose this 
kind of z-axis vertical plane and I'm just going to draw up at a diagonal. Isn't this cool? And even on this diagonal segment, if you click on this selected edge for the diagonal segment and you choose that same tool, notice that the <coughs> notice that the reference plane is kind of matching that diagonal. Very neat, which means if I lock it in that <coughs> oh. oh, way to ruin a vid video. <laughs> start choking. I think I'm just going to leave this in there. I'm human, everybody. It's hard to, it's hard times making these videos. All right. So I've locked that diagonal plane. I should be able to grab and just slide that over. Isn't that wild? So this is going to take some practice. Start messing around with this. But this is a, a very cool new thing that was added into Chief Architect X16. And I feel like it was just kind of slipped in there. So have fun with it.